Got all six. I guess a game finished up is what happened there. Low levels of aluminum found. Uh-huh. We've got huge amounts of dead space this map, so this is going to be awful. And I'm tempted just to, right now, be like, hey, we can make this work. Alright, let's go for that aluminum. Low levels of silicon found. Now, this might have been a terrible decision, but seriously, look at this! It's a whole screen of deadness on the map. And the map's not, I mean, it's a large map, but it's not a huge map. So a whole screen of dead map is pretty huge. Pretty ridiculous, if you ask me. Now, I didn't sell off my silicon in time, which is a bit of an issue. And it looks like people have already bought up glass, which is a bit weird to me. It's early to be making the glass buy. I guess you can do it, but it's quite early to be making the glass buy. Because you're likely just going to have to sell it later, and so we're going to have to watch and see what that price does. Okay, decent water over here. There were, there were decent other spots on the map down in this corner, but I don't really regret our found at this point. We'll get expanded before too long. Asimov off to a very strong start, quite clearly. He's also, he found a great spot, quite frankly for a scientific the only thing he's really missing close by that he'll want is silicon and so we'll have to watch for that silicon might be quite valuable this game we might want to just take some as soon as we manage to upgrade which shouldn't be too far away I guess aluminum's a little pricey this game is what's happening we only have the one aluminum mine pirates so it's taking a while to collect it all pirates are obviously good look at this steel production right here If we could take some steel away and then crash the price on these guys, yeah, it makes some of their expanding easier, but it also kind of destroys a lot of their uh, income early on. But these these guys are going to fight over it. We'll just let the scientifics sort it out between themselves. It's fine by me. And can we do it yet? Yes? Maybe? Pirates. There it is. Get down the aluminum mine. Get down the silicon quarry. And then we have to really decide on where we want a water pump. I do want a water pump. I don't want a water pump that far away, though. I'm really tempted just to take this water pump with its adjacency later, next to that silicon tile, things of that nature. Now we're going to go ahead and buy in the glass. Destroy the price on carbon because our opposing scavenger already has so much of it that the price is probably going to be plummeting before long. Anyways. We will need to push to an HQ level 3 very, very quickly with play like this. We're not going to have time to mess about with the black market. We just need to get upgraded and get power. Like, maybe, maybe we could push for this claim. But it's already 5,000, and that's the punishment we get for founding so early. And while it would be nice, maybe we can make the push. Maybe we can. Maybe we can rely on the aluminum and the water coming in to carry us through. So... Oh, that wasn't even quite it. There we go. Now we just need to buy rapidly back into glass at this point. We do have a claim. This needs to go into power, I think, with just a wind turbine. Very, very cheap building for us this game because, well, carbon's worthless. This guy pretty much guaranteed carbon was going to be worthless with how he claimed his tiles, and then we helped to make sure of it as well. Geotherm is an option. I don't really like it still. I think I'm going to go with the wind power. really want to find a good yeah, spot for it if I can, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I guess we'll just take it here. It's reasonably close by. It's usable. It's just not good. Sell water as it comes in to buy glass. I really don't think we can afford to actually waste too much time before we get into glass at this point. I could even consider, like, these guys are already into reactors and farms and all that stuff. That helps explain why glass went quite so nuts. So I think we just want to get to three, throw down some glass, and see if we can get extra power up afterward. I think that's the play of this game. Alright, come on. There's the water. We can upgrade. I don't know if we want to. Because we need to make sure we have the materials to do what we want to do after we upgrade. We get three new claims when we upgrade, so an extra claim on top of that would be really nice. And we may have to just throw down glass and then get down power. So glass furnace is going to cost us very, very little. Because it's just carbon and silicon. 
I got targeted by a mutiny. Are you serious right now? It's just one tiny little wind turbine. These geos, one of them is undefended, at least. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to upgrade anyway, then. I'm not going to throw down power quickly. I'm going to go ahead and move into this glass like I talked about. Because I wouldn't get much benefit off power anyways. At least my debt's not insane like whoever just took that geotherm. Wells. I'll have to watch for Wells' stock price going in the tank, apparently. Alright. There's our glass furnaces. Hopefully that'll make us a decent amount of money. It won't be great, but nobody else is in glass and people are doing things like throwing down farms. So hopefully it's okay. On top of that, we already had silicon income. We might need to secure a little extra, kind of like we need to push for a claim before too long. We can grab a goon, though. I think we'll goon our power after, you know, we have control of it again. We could also try a mutiny, probably here. I doubt this guy has this defended. That's always a risky play, but I think it's the right one before long. And we're going to need to push for this claim. Unfortunately, it's 10,000 now, so that's even farther to push for. We didn't end up saving money the way I was hoping we would. Water's still doing all right. Going to keep pushing for that claim. Try and get an actual that source of power down. Of course, mutinies went through the roof. All right, he resecured it. We're going to take it from them. See if we can get this debt paid off a little bit before too long. And then push for an extra claim. That's just where we're at this game. These are not making much money, very sadly. Like, oxygen is still a bit on the expensive side, I guess. They're making a full glass per silicon, but... And then that small oxygen price. I guess it's mostly just the fact that power is ridiculous is why they look quite so bad. We could just upgrade instead of pushing for the claim. So I think that's where we have to go. Get down power. Uh, do we get down three? I guess we can get down three. Like, power's heading down at this point, but... It's not necessarily going to stay that way. This feels like the safer route. We could get down food. Food's still going up, despite the fact so many people are in it. It's generally on the trend upward. We could also just secure some more silicon. And maybe secure some more water and try and sit on this instead. Let's get that goon up like I talked about. Still have control of this, so that mutiny went rather well. And let's see. A lot of stock buying going on. Not too surprising. Well, stock price was pretty bad. Was that the geotherm? Yeah, that was the mutinied geotherm getting blown up. I think we paid off a fair amount of debt with that. Not as much as we'd liked, but a fair amount. Alright. Bring the price of glass down. Claim is 16,000 now. I think I'm just going to make that happen. I don't even know how much this is worth. Alright, water, food's actually on the way down. Let's check off-worlds. Can I just rush for one and get away with it? No. Why are off-worlds so bad so often? Man, I really hate that inconsistency. Why are off-worlds so bad so often? It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, is anybody else actually making glass? Somehow I doubt it. Alright, fine. We'll get creative with this particular game. We got a claim. Let's go ahead and start using it. Thankfully, we also do have this silicon income, right? So silicon's gonna be on the way down. Nobody else has bothered securing pirates. silicon, it looks like. We've I taken a fair number of the tiles pirates. away. Where are the pirates? Why am... What? No, oh, it's on my silicon. Of course it's on my silicon. But still, food's worth more. Fuel's worth more. Why? Fine, whatever. You know what? There. Enjoy your high glass price. Forget all of you. I hope your bad decision loses you the game because you end up stealing water instead of silicon. I think I need that goon squad, unfortunately. Oh, come on. There. Let's just try this. See if I can make it work. Wells is completely bought up, mostly by Herbert, mo and by himself, quite frankly, and just a little bit from Clark, who is really not doing particularly well this game, and I'd like to do something about that. <sighs> Are you done yet, pirates? I should have just turned these off. Made sure he stole water as much as possible. 
Very successful pirates. All right, yeah, back on. Oh, okay. Apparently I was too late for it to matter. Anybody else have glass production? I'm not seeing it. All right. I'll just be patient then. We're just in patience mode now. Scientific Unfortunately. Expanded. Do I want to push for an expansion is another real good question. Carbon's getting a little on the expensive side, but it's not ridiculous yet. I don't really want an off-world, so I don't even necessarily have to worry about that. But I think I would like to get some reactors down. Not necessarily chem labs. Those are looking pretty bad. But reactors are looking pretty darn good, especially with the chem labs down. That's not going to help me expand. We'll go ahead and upgrade, get these down, and then focus on our short from there. Yep, carbon got, got kind of pricey with that. All right, short time. I was hoping to get a third reactor down at least, but whatever. Carbon went a little too nuts. Don't really want to throw this down here. I'd rather get something like slant drilling if I could pull it off. And frankly, I'd like to buy some Clark because he is not in a good way right now. Yeah, you can have that 6,000 debt. I don't care. How's the glass doing? Not so hot. I need to get that other short started very, very quickly. Man, shorts got real expensive, which I think is just, once again, such a ham-fisted way to fix the problem of shorts and surpluses. It's just like, well, shorts are dumb, so you know what we'll do? We'll just actually make them unusable. It's like, that's not really fixing the game, actually. At all. Sorry. It's just not. Oh, good. A silicon surplus. Well, I guess our glass is going to be a little bit better. Unfortunately, it also makes everybody else's glass a little bit better. There we go. How much would it take? 101. We're only at 64. Ah, we can start on it, though. Let's go ahead and get these reactors down, like I talked about. We'll save that last claim. Not really entirely sure what I want to do with it. I guess we'll start another short, especially with that surplus coming in. And I'd love to go ahead and make this buy happen. Let's see. Other people sitting on some amount of cash, but not a huge amount. And frankly, Wells and Herbert both have other issues. So Asimov and Bradbury are more the bigger problems. Bradbury could come after me fairly easily. So that was a misplaced one, but whatever. Hopefully it'll work. Aluminum came on up, kind of like we expected it to eventually. 32,000. Let's just do it. Buy up my own stock just a little bit. All right, what can I do with this? The steel mills, not so hot. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. I do have a claim left that I can use to also help fix the territory. This farm not doing very well either. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We can add glass on. The black steel hopefully will recover at some point. So I'm not sure I even want to scrap those. I just want to get to the point where I can upgrade this guy. That's, you know, before too long. All right. Fuel's going down super fast, so what I think I want to do is upgrade, move into chems, get to an engineering lab as well. That'll be the goal for the upgrade. Three chem labs and an engineering lab, and I think we'll be okay. Come on, glass short. You gotta work with me here. Let me make all this happen. An underground nuke on my carbon. That's kind of an issue, actually, that I'm gonna need to fix before too long. Alright. Well, thankfully, carbon's not too bad right now. So hopefully we'll be able to use this okay. We could even just surplus it if I really, really wanted to. Which I think I might just do. Make my life easier, that's for sure. After this glass short, we'll see what we can do about actually upgrading. We're going to wait it out. We have a lot of glass. This should be okay. I'm not seeing a lot of glass production. Well, that's a good time to stop, if any. Upgrade. I could add on to these farms as well. Now, this is actually decent for me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How are these doing? Not so hot. Well, another option is to just scrap this farm. I know glass is kind of expensive, but we can scrap that farm. Maybe instead add a steel mill here, then go with the labs here, right? Turn these back on. They should be making plenty of money now, and we have all kinds of iron. Another nuke on our carbon. This is wonderful. I love getting focused out like this. Uh, hmm. Okay, Bradbury. And it's probably you doing it. So, I think we have a clear target now. Carbon surplus, naturally. 
Yep, that's what I thought you were trying to do, Bradbury. Guess what? It doesn't work that way. It's not that easy. Okay. Did we ever put farms down? No, I talked about it. Let's get that lab down. That was another thing I talked about. Should be okay. We can even potentially goon squad it, but I'm not so concerned about that. Could short chems, but this guy has so much production of it up. I'm not sure I want to. Uh, there are options with this, but I don't think any of them are good. So I'm just going to surplus food to try and hurt everyone at once. All right, come here. Now, if somebody starts buying me behind this... Yep, there we go. Scared Bradbury. Good. Start buying up my own stock a bit. This is who I really want to take down, though. It's Bradbury. Man, glass just stayed ridiculous, didn't it? Let's upgrade. Throw down a little more glass production. Chem's not doing so hot anymore. They're kind of okay still, but not great. We can maybe add on to them a little bit, because we know we've got that lab coming down. More expansions are coming out as well. There's the food surplus. We can upgrade something like steel production could be good. Upgrade glass production could also be good. We can just sit here, keep doing this over and over and over again, until these people actually respond to it and make glass. Make glass, somebody! This is dumb. I shouldn't be doing this. This is an idiotic play. Whatever. Somebody did actually try and stop the hacker array, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. We can also short water, maybe. Other people do have a fair amount of water coming in, like right here. Maybe that's not the option. Carbon's still a little ridiculous, which is why we have to be careful about putting down all our buildings. Let's see, this is electronics production. It's pretty good electronics production, too. A lot of people moving into that. That's a good tile. <sighs> okay, Kim's should be solidly losing money at this point, so let's get those turned off. I don't really want to sell out of water. That just feels ridiculous. Dynamite hit the hacker, Ray. Uh, let's go ahead and get that repaired, whatever it costs. And keep upgrading everything else, because I don't see a good reason to stop. 103,000 out of the 202,000 that we need to go ahead and get the buyout done. I think we'll hurt water. Well, could I not get nuked every single... Ugh. I'm getting tired of this, quite frankly. This is going to have to work. Otherwise, I'm in huge trouble. I don't see any other glass production online still. So it should be okay. I'm really tempted to just go ahead and make the move into farms. Even though it's quite expensive with carbon being this ridiculous. We could also move into electronics, but that sounds like a bad idea because, once again, carbon's ridiculous. Okay. Just gonna let that work. Hopefully it goes off before too long. Your stock is being bought. Of course it is. Bradbury wants to finish me off before I buy him out. Guess what? It's gonna be a bit more difficult than maybe he was hoping. Because, once again, if people aren't making glass, I don't have to care. Looks like he actually bought into glass. He's expecting this, and that's totally fine. As long as we know that he's bought into it, we can maybe use that to our advantage. Let's upgrade chem production, because that's going to keep going up now that people have moved out of it. This guy is in glass. Okay. Do something about that. 245,000 is what we require. That's not too much. It's certainly something that's doable, I think. 249. Just have to be very, very careful about this. Alright, I think that'll do it. Nope, it went up. Come on, stop going up. Let me finish you. We completely killed the glass. I don't know if we actually got the full benefit out of that or not, but glass is dead is what I do know. Shouldn't be any surprise whatsoever. Thankfully, we still have silicon rolling on in. 268 is what we're looking at. This transition just cost me so much. It was entirely ridiculous thing to do. I should not have done that at all. Because that cost me so much money. And then I went ahead and surplused food, which I'm already in. So that was also ridiculous. Oh man, these need to go offline. They're costing me a ridiculous amount of money. It just comes down to the fact that I got nuked out so hard. Fine, whatever. We will stop the push. I will go ahead and take a little extra carbon so I'm not completely dead. Cams are still doing alright. These are off. These need to turn off. We need to get out of them. We don't have any access to water besides what we already have, right? Yeah. 
I don't really want that iron tile. I guess it's okay. The steel is losing us money. Let's go ahead and move out of it. What can I actually make? Anything? I don't see anything I can actually make. We can upgrade water production, I guess, and that's something we can do. We're already in chems. We can't push that too much harder than we already have. And we need another 67,000 at this point to actually finish this off. Options, options, options. Can try a chem short. See how it goes. Okay, okay, okay. 268 is still the goal. Oh good, I got nuked again. What a surprise. Nukes are so much fun, aren't they? Man, I love having these tiles out here doing nothing. Have some extra claims. I'll just get down more water, I guess. Herbert's halfway to buying us. That's kind of terrifying, actually. How did he pull that off? Is it just all this glass? I guess it is just all this glass, which rebounded very quickly from the $20 price it was at. Quite surprising to me, actually. Wasn't, wasn't really expecting that. Bradbury buying more stock in us. That's unfortunate. We need 287 to finish him off. I don't think... He can't finish it, but this is still a concern. The thing is, I really don't want to have to dance around this too long. Man, he's making so much money from this thing with this engineering bay. I'm so tired of these nukes also. These reactors can go back online. That's okay. Water came down so fast. I have three more claims to use. 314. The thing is, if I buy my own stock, it's money taken away, but it also keeps him from buying too much. 302, come on. Your stock is being bought. These chem labs are almost certainly losing money at this Our point. We need to turn them off. The we do have a chem shortage coming in. We can buy into a in bit. 326 is what we need. Are we quite there? I don't think so, but we're so close. It's so close. So frustratingly close. 326. Okay. Oh yeah, we're there. Get out, please. There. Jerk. Nuking all of my carbon. Get out. Done with you. Okay. Upgrade all that production. Turn those back on. This production is awful. I can't sustain it at all because I don't have the upgrades that he did. And that's a pretty big deal. Thankfully, we do have two engineering labs now. And we can go ahead and seriously start on upgrading a lot of different types of production, as well as potentially going into a shortage on something ridiculous. I thought I turned these off. Hold on. Okay, good. Okay, what are you guys making? A lot of reactors and some farms. We already have farms. Let's just turn those on and then go ahead and get into the reactors ourselves. Ah, uh, this is going to cost a lot to get down. I don't have nanotech, and that's really hurting this game. Okay. Sure, why not? I can put something on it. Even if it's just a stupid little iron mine, I can use that. Alright, that's fine. We can also make somebody else just take it. Don't really care at this point. I really kind of want a patent lab. Sold. Haven't seen a lot of patent lab action. Oh, we already had this down. Shoot. Okay. Didn't have to use a claim. Whatever. Yeah, the reactors aren't going to do so hot. I'm tempted to just scrap these and figure out what to do with those tiles in a minute. Of course there's an electronic shortage soon. I guess we'll buy into it a little bit. Watch for what we can do with it. Let's see, what's our hack again? Carbon short. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Price is flying around literally all over the place. I have no idea what to do with this giant plot of tiles. That would actually make me money until I've upgraded a significant... Oh, glass, of course. Glass is what I need to do with this giant plot of tiles. There. Carbon's still expensive. We still have the short coming in. We're just going to keep upgrading carbon production until it's actually acceptable. And since electronics are quite so bad, and I don't think these guys have full areas where they're actually benefiting from their scientific bonus, we're going to see if we can knock down this production a bit by buying up quite a ridiculous amount of carbon. They also have off-worlds online, which is we definitely a concern. Guys. Of course, just it's defended. Do we need to get into the off-worlds, despite how bad they are this game? I think Our we do. It's food that we can send, service. and it's not awful. We have two claims left. Unfortunately, we are shorting carbon, right? But eventually that'll recover. What in the world, game? Come on. Carbon short, let's go. These two still kind of have to fight each other before me, thankfully, and that's my saving grace this game. All right. Yep. Feel the pain on your electronics production. It's not actually all that painful for them. Let's be honest. Go ahead and sell out of it. Okay. That's a reasonable price again. 
most stuff already taken, but we can go ahead and work on thinking machines a bit. How does this guy have so much of the money he needs to buy us? Shoot. It's ridiculous. Okay. Quick little electronic short. Unfortunately, glass has died on me as well. I guess it's time for this. However expensive it is, it needs to happen. Oh, chems. Where am I? is my chem production? Get this turned off. I don't even want to think about how much money that's losing me. Okay, good. He went for the other buy. We might have a shot this game. I actually think I want to scrap... I need to scrap something. What can I upgrade? I can keep upgrading carbon production because sheesh, right? But does he have carbon scrubbing? Yes, he does. So there's no point in keeping it high in order to affect his electronics production. Because he has the carbon scrubbing, it'll do absolutely nothing. Two claims left still. I guess we can just do, seriously, just... Okay, fine. I'll just keep hacking carbon for all I care at this point. There, carbon short, 24,000. Just throw down so many off-worlds he can't compete. Thinking machines will happen eventually. It just takes some time. Blow that up. He is a scientist who does not have thinking machines. And let's just see if we can make this work. <sighs> okay, off-worlds are online. Food is the send. Actually, chems are the send right now, but food and chems are both good. And let's just see what we can do. Can upgrade food production a bit more. Maybe transition these into food. Are they making money again yet? The middle one is, but just the middle one. The black Mostly because carbon is so high. expensive, though, so it's okay, realistically. Because we have a ton of carbon, and we would kill the price if we tried to sell all of it anyway. So it's not actually worth what they're saying it's worth, is basically my point. Never gonna stop. Okay, 244. He's at 114. He has more off-worlds online than we do, which is definitely a bit of a concern. I'd love to resolve that situation, if at all possible. Need more claims? No, we don't. Because this might just turn into a flat-out off-world race. And we'll also get rid of this guy. Not planning to goon it, don't care if it's on a resource. Yes, carbon's crazy expensive, but once again, if we sold off all the carbon, it wouldn't actually be that expensive because we would sell so much of it, so... Not that big a deal. We can upgrade food production again. We can upgrade... Ah, something. Chems, maybe. You should be profitable after we do all this. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this needs to get repaired. This needs to get mutinied. Please. Thank you. Launched. Look at all the money. I know chems are expensive and food's slightly less. Oh, wow. Okay, let's actually cancel out of these because he just did a control shift down. Okay, let's get more food sent. Need to actually be using these off worlds if I'm going to construct them. Need to transition out of all of these, which have been losing me money for who knows how long. Make sure all my food is down. Let's go check the food production. I'm really tempted to just control shift down to completely destroy as many prices as I possibly can. Which is what that guy did not too long ago. Water production is still going strong. Let's upgrade food again. Let's upgrade chems again. Let's actually short chems again. I don't see him making... Oh no, he's moving into chems hard. Fine. There's a solution for that too. Uh-huh. Short... Well, I'll just short Carmen again, then, for all I care. He's 50% of the way to buying us. We are nowhere near 50% of the way but to buying him. Unfortunately, I think it took us too long to get all of this worked out. We did get mutinied on an off-world, which sucks. And, you know, he's just a scientific player, which makes all of this a huge pain. And this short's going quite well for him. Look at all the money. Okay. Did I get a surplus going? Yes, I did. I've also got a shortage going. Look at all the money. What can I actually do with the rest of this game, I wonder? Look at all the money. Besides just, you know, keep doing literally this. Look at all the money. There we go. All kinds of off-world launches. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Upgrade food production to the full. Upgrade glass because, man, that's crazy. We need to turn those back on. I can't believe I've had those offline for quite so long. Off-world launches. This is what I've got. Off-world shipment launched. There we go. 
Look at all Cancel all money. those, get to sending the chems, because they are so much more valuable to send right now. And they're not valuable at all to make. This guy actually did successfully move out of them. He's got all this fuel production down. Need to do something about it. So difficult to actually attack a scientific player. Man, I have so much production that's actually being just completely useless right now. It's infuriating. I guess we can move back into the reactors ourselves, because he completely wrecked reactors. In like, every way. And I was not ready for him to do that in any way. Look at all the world shipment Look at all the money. Okay, yup, yup, yup. Send, send. We've got all kinds of off-world launches going on, but I doubt it's going to be enough to actually finish him off. Is the problem. Uh-huh, okay. Look at all the money. Can also do some of that. Okay. Power shortage. Alright, cancel all this. I really hate these nukes. Man, that was just so painful. Now I need to get into fuel, and he's just been sitting on fuel the whole time, somehow. I feel like I'm just low on tiles, and I don't know why I feel that way, but I definitely feel that way this game. Like, I just don't have any tiles. I definitely don't have anywhere near the amount of water I wish I did, because that's just nuts. Alright, we're at 1 million, we need 1.3, and we might have to pay debt before too long. He doesn't have very much debt to pay off, which I guess is a good thing in its own way. Keep upgrading fuel production. We can even maybe... I don't know if we can actually Off short fuel. It's a little too risky. Look at all the money. What can we actually short? Oh, that'll work. Look at all I have to pay debt, unfortunately. It's going to buy me some time, but probably not enough. Okay, let's just keep launching. Food is still good to launch. It's Off fine by me. We had an awful lot of it as well. Okay, all this food production could be what? It could be reactors. It could be water. <sighs> Okay, does he actually have water production anywhere? Fuel surplus. All right. Never mind on the reactors then. Nope. Just bought into it. Don't do that. Hold on. Okay, I've got the water short coming in. I can't take any more water because I don't have any more claims, and acquiring a claim is ridiculous at this point. Food's starting to go a little crazy. Okay, what's he actually making? He's making fuel. He's making glass. Let's get out of the glass here. This is costing money. Okay, if that's what he's making, we can try and make this transition. Okay, these need to go offline. They're almost certainly losing money at this point. No, maybe not. They're still making some money. Okay, upgrade water production like I intended to a long time ago. Come on, off-world launches. Keep going for me. What can I actually send still? I mean, I guess I can still send food. It's just not great. Send glass. Yes, that's the send. Look at all the money. 133. Are we there? We're almost there. We're so close. There it is. Price manipulation begins shortly. Nukes, man. 